It's a particular pleasure to be with so many people who share a passion for and a commitment to the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum. The museum and the Justice Department enjoy what is surely a unique partnership in the annals of federal law enforcement history. And all of you justly share in the credit for the prosecutorial successes that have been achieved. The museum has played an especially important role in a group of cases involving the SS base and training camp at Travniki in Nazi-occupied Poland. The Travniki camp, seen here in this rare photo, was nothing less than a school for mass murder. At Travniki, men were trained to participate in the annihilation process at the Nazi death camps and to take part in roundups and mass shootings of Jews. My office has tracked down and prosecuted 16 of the Travniki men in the United States, three of them right here in Chicago. The world's leading authority on the Travniki SS camp is Dr. Peter Black, the Holocaust Museum's senior historian. Years ago, we turned to the museum with a request that Dr. Black testify for the government as an expert witness. In fact, I went directly to Sarah Bloomfield with that request, and I understood that I was asking a lot. But Sarah, without hesitation, authorized Peter to testify for us, and he's done so many times in the ensuing years, always with outstanding results for our prosecutions. Thank you again, Sarah. In our work at the Justice Department, we sometimes try to imagine these horrible scenes, and then we try just as hard not to imagine them so that we can carry on with our work. My colleagues and I are deeply grateful for the outstanding support that the Holocaust Museum provides to us. It's been one of the great privileges of my career to be associated with the supremely dedicated and talented women and men of this extraordinary institution. They are largely unsung heroes in our cases, but their work makes an indispensable contribution to the Justice Department's pursuit of justice on behalf of the Holocaust victims. I'm enormously pleased to be able to say that publicly here on behalf of my colleagues, on behalf of Attorney General Holder, on behalf of Assistant Attorney General Lanny Brewer, here in front of so many wonderful people whose commitment and generosity make all of that and much more possible. Thank you all so very much.